Hello, I'm Walter Killeen with Mogawalt Brands to introduce one of our favorite products. This is the Quick Trench Tips and Tricks video. In it you will see live video of the tools in operation. Unlike traditional trenching, the Quick Trencher does not remove dirt from the hole, it simply moves it to the side. Let's begin with a traditional trenching shovel. It's designed to dig a 6 inch wide path in the ground. If you're digging in a lawn, you probably end up piling up dirt on top of the grass and making a mess. You know what? It's an awful waste of energy just to install a 3 8 inch cable or half inch conduit, so we don't. The Quick Trench Shovel has been designed and perfected over many years to optimize its shape and weight. This allows you to trench right up next to existing plants without hurting them. Then use the yellow insertion tool to bury the cable. Here's the video just after we buried conduit to that electrical box. Can you see the burial path? No, I can't either. It's really that good at hiding the trench. What's kind of hard to get your head around is that this trench has taken less than a half an hour to dig so far. Watch closely and I'll show you some pointers. Start by placing the blade so that it slightly overlaps the previous slot. Then jump on it like a pogo stick. Now rock back and forth and side to side to cut through any roots. Finally pull back and forth to create an hourglass shape that is the trench slot. Then repeat. Each cut is a little over a foot long. Note that as I rock back and forth the ground is parted and pushed up. The rocking has created a trench that is wider at the top and bottom than it is in the middle thus the hourglass shaped trench. Oops, it looks like I've hit something. This root is over an inch thick. Watch as I continue to rock from side to side while putting my weight on the blade. Now back and forth as I cut through the rest of the way. Because of the way the blade is sharpened, I have the option of turning the blade around to remove a second slice out of the root without increasing the size of the trench. Now let's bury some cable. Because of its carefully engineered tip, the insertion tool would make a lousy shovel. On the other hand, it's just the thing for pressing the cable past the narrow slot at the mid-depth down to the bottom of the trench. Notice how I rock the tool from side to side and press a little bit more each time. Now let's get really serious with the burial tool. Let's bury some half-inch electrical conduit. Again, because of the shape of the inserter, I can really put my weight into burying the conduit. I don't have to worry about pressing too hard because the tip shape has been perfected over many years to distribute the load on the cable of conduit. It's designed to roll the conduit past the narrow middle of the trench. Yes, you really can jump on the tool to push the conduit down. I would never try that with a regular shovel or the quick trench tool for the fear of damaging the conduit. Okay, now watch closely as I close the top of the trench. I use the blunt curved end to press the top of the tr trench closed. Start by tapping about an inch and a half or two inches on either side of the slot. I can even use the side of the inserter to pat down lumps. First, I tap one side and the other to close the trench. I can even use the curve across the top of the slot to help hide it. Now you see it and now you don't. The quick trench system comes as two components, the green trencher and the yellow insertion tool. The black marker on the trencher is at 12 inches high to help you bury high voltage wire. The yellow insertion tool comes in two sizes, one to bury 8 inches and another to bury to a 12 inch depth. For more information go to the website for local dealers or direct pricing if there are none in your area.